Hello, this is Brian Resney, president of Resney Wealth Management, bringing you an important update about the economy and the investment markets. Well, we're firmly in the 2021. Economy is starting to gain a little steam as I talked uh, in a number of uh, update videos this year. Ultimately, we see a, a very good GDP growth, gross domestic product for 2021 and 2022 above average. And let me tell you why. There's a lot of pent up demand from 2020, not only from the stimulus that has not been spent yet, but consumers in general have really bankrolled a lot of money, believe it or not, in 2020 because they couldn't travel, eat out as much things of that nature. So what you're going to have in 2021, as I'm going to uh, repeatedly discussed this year is a really good GDP number in our estimation. And that's going to carry through to 2022. So I see two really back-to-back -back years of high GDP growth. Could be well over 5% each of the two years. Could be better, but let's say it's 5% each. Statistically, that's really good. Pent-up demand and stimulus. Now, over the next three to five years, I see a very good overall economy because we're going to continue on that path of expansion. So again, whether you like the current president, uh, his policies, or what he's doing, they're going to spend money just like Republicans spend money. They're going to spend it in slightly different places. The world is not going to come to an end, as I've repeatedly talked about. Now, there's policies they're doing that I totally don't agree with. Um, but again, that's your decision. You can make those on your own. But when it comes to the investing side and economic policy, um, I see the economy doing quite well the next two years, really well, actually. And the next three to five years, really good. Um, just kind of a step down overall average. We could have a potential uh, growing uh, bull market economy for the next 10 years plus easily. We're going to get those volatilities throughout every calendar year, as we always do. The bond market this year, by by the way, as I've, as I've repeatedly discussed with clients, um, we are in the proper places in our estimation to be in bonds, uh, the right types of bonds. But I will tell you, new clients that our firm is receiving this year again, a lot of these people are getting killed in bonds. Bonds go down when interest rates go up. So interest rates, even though they were really low at the beginning of this year, they're starting to creep up just a little bit. You're not going to see 4 or 5% interest rates, so don't get me wrong, but even a quarter or half a percent interest rate increase in interest and bonds will cause bond values to drop in value. We're looking at the 20-year at the, uh, treasury as an example. Year to date, it's down about 7% year to date. Negative. The equity market's up about 4% positive. So when people say our bonds conservative, they can be just as risky and volatile at times as the equity market. Sometimes people get a false sense of security if they own a lot of bonds. And really, the time to own long dated bonds is not now, but that is not any of our clients because again, we're in shorter term duration. We're in the right area of, of bonds to buffer our clients volatility when appropriate. The economy is growing. The unemployment numbers will slowly come down over time. Uh, the world economies around the world are not going to do as well in our estimation, especially developed Europe as the U.S. We are not invested there. Some of the emerging market economies, particularly Asia, will should do quite well and probably be within par or better GDP growth than the U.S. We're not invested there either right now. That may change over the next month or year, depending what we see on a long-term trend for their economic growth, we may add some of those assets. We did make some adjustments in our client portfolios as we went into year end and into 2021. And those have paid, uh, so far, they look like uh, they're paying off in, in, uh, in, in good performance and in proper returns, meaning quality research at our firm, looking at the areas of true opportunity are going to ultimately help our clients through 2021. But as I've always discussed, normal volatility is going to be here. Expect a 10 or 12% pullback this year sometime. It could be 15% or it may be 3%. Um, one, I was talking to a client earlier today on an update, a phone update, and they were looking to potentially add more money to their account. And they made a reference to, hey, you talked about a potential pullback in the market this year, should we wait to add that money? And what I said to them is, we may not have any pullback, I just want you to be aware that it could happen because that is consistent 
in every market cycle and every market year that we do get a pullback. But remember this, we can go up 10% before we pull back 10%. So don't short term time the market. If you've got excess capital you don't need long term and you want to add it to your account, the time to add it is now and let us decide when we're going to deploy that capital into the portfolio. But again, we're going to have some volatility this year like we do every single year. The world is not going to come to an end. We're clearly coming out of the recession that was man-made because of the coronavirus back in March, April of last year. We see the economy doing well. We see our clients doing well. And as always, if you have any questions about your portfolio or any financial concerns, please call the office. Let's talk. Or you can schedule a phone review or in-office review. Either one is fine with us. We are in full operation. Our staff is fully here. We are here for our clients to make sure your experience is top-notch. And as always, we appreciate your business, your trust, and your referrals. As a side note, we're receiving a record amount of referrals last year and this year from clients. If you have friends that are dissatisfied with how their money was improperly managed over the last year or two years or maybe 10 years, or a family member business associate, we appreciate your referrals. Keep us in mind. You help our business and you help us grow. As always, have a safe and profitable day.